Hello everyone, this is Mark again for you with another video and uh, today we are going to look at Michael Producer's watch collection part one. Uh, I already saw in the thumbnail pretty nice watches, so let's get into this video. At this point, I want to say thanks to you all. Yeah, a lot of subscribers came new to the channel after I mentioned it. We are now at 85% no subscribers, so let's work on that. And uh, because I want to thank you, uh, I have here this beautiful fragrance, let's say uh, Gritti Alexandra. I think it's over 300 euro with this special hat. And also, you know that I'm a fragrance lover. If not, then yeah, what can I tell you? And also this one is one of my favorites. Uh, Perfumi del Forte, yeah. All handmade stuff. Uh, this one, all brand new, I will give away next Sunday. And if you want to have it, then you just need to follow Mark Gebauer on Instagram. Uh, I will give it away for free, worldwide shipping included. So yeah, just uh, stay tuned on my Instagram account. Michael, the producer, is one watch lover and uh, he is living currently in Los Angeles um, and switching between New York and Los Angeles. Let's uh, see that video. It's a little bit old, but I think he didn't sold these watches. Where is the second hand? <laughs> need my glasses. Oh, we start oh, wait. There, top. Okay, with you know a yellow gold. Let's scratch this. Let me, let me, let me Zenit see. Daytona. The watch hasn't been worn in forever. I have to wind it. <laughs> yeah, this is an old watch from the 90s. And the ultimate really war, collectible right? on the leather bracelet. Not that much, hey, but nice watch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah. What a nice place, huh? Hi, guys. We're here at uh, Chase Bank. I just came to pick up some watches. I'm yeah. doing this for you because there's been so many requests to see watch collection. Uh, it's a tough thing, thing for me to do. He just wants to tell us, <laughs> please don't come at my home. You know, I have no watches at home. They are all at the bank. Because I have to keep smart thing to do. I do it myself the same it. way. So uh, we're going to do it bit by bit. There's a bunch in here. Let's go take a look at them and we'll do episodes two, three, four, five sometime in the future. Let's go. Oh, there we see some heavy hitters. This video is a little bit older. Um, so the new pieces, Jacob and Co, they are not featured in here, but uh, there are some nice things. So here we are at the house and uh, brought some goodies for you to have a look at. Um, it's not all of them, but uh, it's certainly a nice selection. In fact, I don't quite know what's in the box. Let's find out. Are we ready? <laughs> ah. Okay. So we have uh, Richard Mill, Audemars Piguet, Breguet, uh, Romain something, I don't remember the brand, Rolex and Audemars Piguet. Uh, let's start top left, I bet people have seen you wear that one quite a few times. Top left, this is the most expensive watch in his box. The yellow strap. This one? Mm -hmm. That was in the $100 million worth of diamonds video. Yeah it was. Um, let also let's first uh, check his wrist wear. He is wearing a full iced out uh, Cartier bracelet. Uh, this one retails in Europe, I think for 50,000 50, euro. This is the regular retail price for this one in white gold. Let's keep this one till last because this is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> okay. So okay. this one's gonna, we'll come back to this one. Well, let's start. With so what, why did I even this ask you? Let's, yeah, let's start with this one. Okay, so this one here. This one is this the is cheapest is one out of the off. collection. This is Navy. a AP Audemars Piguet offshore, and this particular model is called a Navy. So uh, this is a pretty fun watch. Um, you can swim in it. Uh, you can really oops drop it. You can. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's check uh, the details of this watch. Let's just get a clear image. So this uh, watch is from Audemars Piguet. It's from the offshore collection. They released the first offshore in the 90s uh, and the young designer just uh, I think 22 years old he came up with this watch no one wanted it and you can have or it shows you the date it has a chronograph and but this is the older model with uh, the rubber pushers crown and um, yeah nice watch currently retails for less than 15,000 euro nice watch yeah before I forget because I might as well show you this one that's on my wrist as well. Otherwise, on his wrist, this is a day date. It. So this is the Rolex day date ah, presidential. Nice and watch. Th this is an interesting piece. Not existing this anymore. This particular one is 
the 41 millimeter model. It's the biggest one they make. Yeah. Um, they actually stopped making this one last year and replaced it with a 40 millimeter one, which I don't quite understand why they did it. Um, yeah, I have to say that the proportions of the 40 mm watch is better, but nevertheless, it was the biggest day date they ever produced. So I like it. The proportions are not that well, but at the end, more a collector's piece. Rolex probably will not never do a 41 mm day date anymore. This has become very sought after now because it's rare. They don't make it anymore and everybody yeah. wants this and not the 40. But um, it's a beautiful watch. So now let's go into another Rolex. This Beautiful, beautiful Zenit Daytona with a diamond dial on a leather bracelet. Always not that collectible than the full gold one. The full gold one, I don't know, depends on the series. It's discontinued since uh, the year 2000. It, the movement is made from Zenit and Rolex bought it from Zenit and put it in his, in his in their watch. It's 40 millimeter case made of 18 karat yellow gold and it has a factory diamond dial. Uh, you know how you can spot the Zenit watch and the newer model? So there is the small second yeah, and uh, from the newer models it's over here. Uh, that means that the hour markers are actual diamonds and it's a chronograph. This is a very interesting watch that most of you will probably have never seen before. Yeah, oh, this so is a true. Romain yeah. Jerome. Romain Jerome. They have always this kind of limited editions. They did it for Pokemon. Uh, then they had a moon watch with some moon dust. And this one is um, and Titanic. It's made with parts of the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, these watches are all automatic, at least everything that I've showed you so far they're automatic. The watch itself is made of rose gold. It's 18 karat rose oh, gold. Oh yeah. The bezel um, is the part. At least they say is from the Titanic. Okay, so this is uh, the watch on Chrome 24. You have different offers. Let's go on this one for 9,000 euro. That's surely not the price he paid. It's way more expensive. And here we have the part, yeah, made out of, from the Titanic. Uh, at least they say this, and it has also a nice uh, back. Yeah, here are some nice engravings. Mm. This is a limited edition. Uh, they made 500 pieces. Okay. This is a watch I bought about hmm. um, probably five years ago. Um, not a very well-known brand, but I saw no. this and I heard the story about it uh, and, and I couldn't resist, so I just went ahead and, and bought it. I actually bought two. Um, the <laughs> other one isn't in here. The other one is made with moon dust. Uh, ah, and, and like I said, moon dust, yeah. Google it. Uh, Remain Jerome Titanic and moon dust. I have both of them. Okay, next, let's go to this. And now this is a very interesting... <laughs> I had this watch a lot in the store. No one wants to buy it. It's a stunning, stunning brand. Uh, Briguet Marina. They produce this watch. So regular Briguet watches are very classic, but this watch is for, yeah, for the new clients from Russia, maybe it's a very heavy watch and he has got the alarm function. So there's a hand at 12 o'clock that uh, activates the alarm. Would you like me to show you how it works? Yeah. Okay, so this here, the second one, you unscrew it like everything else and you pull it out and you see this hand, mm. okay, you see so the thing is here is a hidden button you can press it uh, and then the alarm goes on or off and this crown is for winding the power reserve for the alarm and with this you can set the alarm there we go so that vibrates and makes yeah. a noise on your wrist so you can set it the watch is so massive also this part here where you can place the strap in, it's made out of gold. So believe me, this is a really high quality watch. The price, I don't remember, over 50,000 probably. Uh, the last time we had it in shop, we sold it for, I think, 19,000 euro. So you can either buy, let's say, it's less than Rolex Daytona. And this watch, the quality of everything is just exceptional, but no one wants it. Okay, moving on, this is I love this watch. Another I really AP? I love this watch. Um, wow. This one I've never seen. It's a 44mm offshore, a newer model, with a factory bezel. 
you can see that the setting here is just perfect done. I don't think it's aftermarket. Uh, and 44, for all of you, you know, this, they have always this square kind of ceramic pushers and crown. This is Never an Audemars Piguet, and again, I haven't worn it in a while, so let's, let's get this going. But um, this watch is one that I've been trying, or was trying to buy for, gosh, probably a year, year and a half, and very hard to come by. Uh, and uh, somebody located one for me and was like, yeah, I've got to have it. So uh, one of my pride and joys. Nice piece. This is a Richard Mille. Now, now the best watch. RM1103. Uh, right now this watch discontinued. This is the full gold one. I think, yeah, from the side I cannot see it. Uh, RM1103, this one got really expensive. Uh, the retail price is around uh, slightly above uh, 150 back in the day. And uh, you can sell it in the gray market for around 290 something like this beautiful watch you have a date chronograph and over here this small window is a month indicator so you have actually annual calendar really nice watch if you want it if you want to have it right now it's impossible either you have a long relationship with uh, rm or they won't give it to you they're very strict they want to select the people who won't sell the watch to me maybe so uh, this is their part uh, and they are just producing 3500 watches per year uh, in the whole collection and this is one of the hardest watches to yeah. come by uh, Richard Mille make limited quantity of watches highly highly complicated watches yeah the problem or what is the problem the the thing is RM produces everything in-house so every screw you see here they produce it by themselves and uh, this is one reason they keep the production limited their marketing is great just the most famous people in the world are wearing the watch yeah uh, Jay-Z all the royal family and now it's yeah it's just and the hottest uh, watch they don't allow many of them out in the marketplace so this particular watch is worth substantially more than the retail price, which is already ridiculous. But mm. people are paying even more ridiculous amounts for them because you just can't get them. Uh, I saw from the side, let's try to get a better angle because I think he has got not the full gold, the titanium rose gold version. This is cheaper. Um, which is the same as I showed you earlier on. Uh, um, ah, there we can see it. Yeah, he has got the cheaper version. This one has the titanium from the side. Also very collectible, but not that expensive as full gold. Turning to the back, the back of this watch, uh, again, highly, highly complicated. Um, they use components which are... Okay, so everyone knows, uh, 403, this is his serial number. If the watch appears on the market, he sold it. <laughs> very, very different to other watch manufacturers, but um, an incredible, incredible piece. And this is probably my favorite of all the watches I own. Not necessarily the most expensive, but it is definitely my favorite. Love this watch. Okay, so this is the a next watch. Winged out Patek. Um, this particular one is stainless steel. 5711. This one is the hottest watch at the moment from Patek Philippe. 5711. This one, he has got the iced out version. Justin has the same watch. Um, nice model. Yeah, bust down also. I don't know, let's see if he has the diamonds from the side. And these diamonds are uh, aftermarket. Yeah, here you can see from the side, like I said, aftermarket. Diamonds, this one is not it in the regular like it's collection. It's entirely from diamonds. You yes, can barely see any of the stainless on there. That's the, the goal. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a, a stainless nice. steel and it's, yeah. it's got the, the diamonds on it. And this is the, the back of it. As nice as it is, it doesn't do it for me. But I think as a watch collector, it would be wrong if I didn't have a couple of them. So that's why I have them. I'm going to leave this out for a second so you can see the difference between this one <laughs> and this one, which is basically exactly the same. Ah, the same, just in rolls gold. Except this one is nice. made of gold. Same watch. Yeah, nice look next to each other. Rolls gold and steel model. Uh, the current price for this model without stones is around... 85,000 euro and then if you put the stones on let's say 20,000 euro more uh, so around 100,000 he uh, need to you need to spend if you want to have this watch uh, this model is a little bit cheaper this one before I tell you much about it I'm going to give everybody a shock with Adam's reaction I'd like you to feel the weight of this 
Oh, this is the heavy hitter. Yeah. <laughs> this is a massive oh, watch. Heavy. That weighs over a pound. Oh my, that, I mean, that is probably as heavy as three of the Pateks put together, three of the gold yeah. Pateks yeah. put together. Yeah, or more. Or 42, more. 42 yeah. mm so offshore. So it's, it's all gold. Um, this is this is all gold and it's also all diamonds. So this is wow. a Audemars offshore. <laughs> um, the Nautilus is more expensive though, but this one looks really impressive on the wrist. You know, you have uh, on the scale it weighs 280 gram. Last time I weighed it with the stones a little bit less. Uh, yeah, this watch retails currently for in this kind of setting, I would say. Mm, the price uh, without everything is let's say 50 and then some diamonds on there yeah, around let's say 70 70 to 75 euro uh, this uh, is the old model not the new ceramic version as you can see every piece of it is is diamond and um, the, the actual and you can also see that he has it for a long time it almost looks yellow gold but it's rose gold. The gold just reacted with the air and then it changed its color slightly, I think. Oh, Am I not mistaken? The itself is very thick and it's all solid gold, solid back, and uh, consequently weighs a ton. When you wear this watch at the end of the day, you know you've been wearing it because it's so ridiculously heavy. This is the same watch, this okay. time in white. This one is steel. Yeah, the only thing I would do different is I would uh, also put some stones here at the sides. But besides that, nice done, nice job done. You can see that they are aligned perfectly, and the quality of the setting is uh, great. Uh, here's another Rolex. This is actually the same as what I'm wearing, um, but this one is blinged out for those fun evenings. When <laughs> yes, just the same watches in different versions. Uh, this is also day day two uh, with the ridiculous big uh, bezel and the factory uh, diamond dial with some baguette in it says it's six and nine o'clock yeah good watch i cannot imagine him wearing this one but yeah okay so this is a 41 millimeter presidential it has the diamond dial with the hour markers, uh, they're round and there's two baguettes on the nine and the six. What's a baguette? A baguette is the cut of the diamond. Okay. It's uh, long, thin and straight, whereas the brilliant cut diamond are round. Everything else on here uh, is a round diamond. And then finally in this box, this is one of my favorites as well. Um, this is a Rolex GMT2. It very collectible watch factory setting, I suppose. Uh, they do this every year by year uh, in some quantities. Um, also, the bracelet is factory white gold GMT. It is made of white gold uh, and diamonds. The bezel is baguettes with mm. black onyx hour markers. Uh, nice. This actually turns in both directions. So I've shown you a bunch of watches today. Each and every one of them has a story behind it, why I bought them, why I was attracted to them, yeah. why I think it's a good watch to have. Um, didn't want to tell you too much about them because there's been a lot of watches here. We're taking a lot of time. But if you want to know more about them, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, and I say the same. The video is ridiculous long. Sorry about that. And if you like that video, I will do another one. Let's take a look at his part two. And I see you guys maybe tomorrow.